Hello and welcome to this video. Today, we will see how different coupon display settings affect the appearance of our website's pages. To change coupon settings, go to Appearance in the Admin Panel and click on Customize. On the left-hand side, you can see a sidebar with different options. Click on Coupon Settings from the list. The sidebar will show a list of options available to customize the look and arrangement of coupons throughout your website. To apply a setting to your website, you will need to select it and publish it. The first option, number of coupons on a single row, lets us choose how many coupons are to be displayed per row. You can choose from a single coupon to four coupons per row. The Show Coupon option lets you decide how to reveal the coupon code. If you select Inline, the coupon code is revealed in the same box with the text Get Coupon Code. Also, all the coupon codes belonging to the same store are revealed, thus reducing the user's effort in clicking them one by one. If you select the pop-up option, only the selected coupon is shown in a pop-up with its code revealed. The Always Show option displays all coupons with their coupon codes already revealed. The Location Taxonomy option helps you enable or disable location taxonomy for coupons. Show Category List option lets you control the number of categories shown on your coupon. You can show all categories. Just parent categories. Or none at all. You can either show or hide the brands associated with a coupon using the Show Brands on Coupons option. Sometimes a store can also be a brand. For example, OnePlus is both a store and a brand. If OnePlus is associated with a coupon as a store and as a brand, then the taxonomy listing would be as shown in the video, which can lead to some confusion. In such a scenario, it is better to hide brands on coupons. If the location taxonomy is enabled, you can choose to show all, hide, or just show the parent locations of a particular coupon using the show location on coupons option. The number of active coupons on store or category page option lets you decide the number of coupons to be displayed per page. You can change the total number of expired coupons to be displayed on a store, category, and a brand page using the number of expired coupons on store, category, or brand page option. The Allow Coupons to have their own page option lets you decide whether each coupon should have its own page or not. When it is set to No, there are no links generated to visit the individual coupon page. Show article on store, category, location, and brand pages allows you to show or hide the article on store, category, and brand pages. Articles can be added while editing the store, brand, or category through the admin panel. I hope this video was helpful. To know more about the store's activate and deactivate features, click on the link shared in the description.